Coaches, this is Mike Kuchar, www.xando labs. Our thanks goes out to Coach Chris Fisk, the offensive line coach at Southern Oregon University, for putting together some of his clips on his inside zone run game. And Coach did a tremendous job this week putting together his research report or his clinic report on how he runs the inside zone. Okay, Coach specifically talks about what he does in terms of his count system. It's, it's modeled after, you know, former Oregon head coach Chip Kelly's system. I know they're not too far apart from each other out west, and he talks about the count system up front. He talks about how to handle a gang call, how to hang, handle twists, okay, the, the, the blocking points of all his offensive linemen. A tremendous job by coach, in-depth analysis, which you can find on the website at www.xandolabs.com. So we're going to take you through some of his clips here. Okay, on this particular zone run game. And Southern Oregon had a great year in the NAIA, finishing in a 10-2 and season. Okay, and you're going to see here, okay, inside via the neck for that tackle. Everyone's working. It's an uncovered principle here against an odd front. Okay, once that once they have a penetration here by the inside linebacker, he becomes covered. He is going to take him. Backside will work in a cutoff. Okay, coach talks about a man or a read principle based on what that tackle sees. Right now he's blocking on. Ball's given. Great jump cut by the back. He's able to find some room in there. Another two by two formation. Same front, okay, see uncovered principle, he's going to work right to that inside linebacker, okay, he's covered, we have a combination block working to the backside linebacker, we're locked with that tackle, okay, you have numbers advantage here, give the ball, good read. Two by two formation again. Obviously, coaches, this will be better off looking out for the end zone shot. But again, all insiders members could get the entire access to these entire cut ups, okay, in these concept clips from Coach Fisk at Southern Oregon's inside zone scheme. Okay, so now once this player threatens, okay, he becomes a first level player. That guard is going to be able to absorb him, okay, tackles working into the inside via the neck. Okay, of that five technique, center's blocking on. We're we'll working this way. A combo call. And Coach does a great job in the actual clinic report, specifically talking about those combos and how the uncovered player and those combo responsibilities uh, finds ways to be able to take over that nose guard or whoever he's blocking to. Sorry, coaches. See the back sees it, cuts back. Big game. Another two by two formation. Now you're going to see a four down front. Okay, and coach talks about this in the clinic report. On a four down front, the quarterback can make the recall. Okay, that's something that he will make on the fly. He'll let the tackle know. And there's a there's a communication system coach talks about in the full length report on X A and D O Labs that details that. This tackle right now is staying with the five technique. Okay, we're going to combo here. Okay, the center and the count system. And again, this is all detailed in the report. He is going to handle number one. Okay, so right now one is over there, or zero, I should say. Okay, the center's on zero, zero will be over there. One is over here. Okay, if he sneaks up, he becomes one in the count. Here's number two. Guard takes number one, tackle takes number two. Okay, back here you have minus one. Okay, back here you have minus two. Depending on what you want to do with these players, if you want to read principle, you turn minus two free, whatever it may be. But it's a very good job by Coach Fisk in the count system. It's very detailed. He just finds ways to man block the zone scheme, which I think is a tremendous, tremendous advantage. Okay, so there you go. We're comboing here. It's going to be a read principle, so the backside tackle is going to help out on minus one. Quarterback makes the give read, and that's the bounce cut. And Coach talks about the bounce cut and how he reads the bounce cut in the full clinic report on the website. Four down front again. Okay, we're all they're all taking their steps here. We got a covered lineman. We have a covered lineman. Okay, we have covered lineman to zero. Now zero, where's the count? Okay, the center is tied into the play side. 
Okay, if the center's tied into the play side, okay, this player becomes a zero player. Here's one, here's two. Here's minus one. Okay, depending on if you get some type of bluff or first level read by that linebacker, somebody has to be minus two over here. Okay, you see the center give a good flipper. Okay, then he's eventually going to work to zero. The guard sees it. A tremendous job of that backside guard working off. You have the cutback, and you got a lot of yards there. Got a three down front here. Now you're going to have a walk-up pressure. It's important we detail this because Coach does a great job in his clinic report talking about walk-up pressure and bluff linebackers and things of that nature. Okay, I know it's tough to see here, but you have a walk-up pressure, which was going to be right here by that linebacker. Okay, he becomes number one in the count, so the guard's going to handle him. Here's number two in the count. Okay, number zero has gone away. Okay, so the center's going to work play side. And again, coaches, I know we're going through this pretty quickly, but the entire count system, Coach Fisk of Southern Oregon's entire count system and his techniques specifically for his offensive line are all detailed in the clinic report at www.xandolabs.com. Two by two set here. Okay, now you have walk-up pressure. This is the bounce principle, okay, which is detailed in the report. We'll talk about this briefly in a second. Now, what you want to do offensively, you have the power to shift that back or but based on where you want to run the play. And you could talk to the off offensive line, whichever side you're running the zone play, you could flop the back and get him onto the other side, away from pressure. Okay, so right now we have a bluff. We have a pressure coming from this side. Okay, so you're going to have a drop from this side. Okay, there is no number zero. Zero, okay, is yet to show. No number one. Okay, here's number two over here. Okay, so here comes the bounce play where we're all working to our gaps. He's covered. Okay, he's covered. Here's number. Here's zero. Okay, center is working off to zero. Okay, here's minus one. Minus two is going to be blocked. Okay, especially initially because it's an odd front. We're not going to read that. He's going to lock on that. And the ball's given. It's a pretty good cut back by the back. And again, if you have backs like that to make those cuts, you're going to be pretty successful in the inside zone scheme. So Coach, a little brief detail of what Coach talks about in his, you know, count system. Okay, Coach Chris Fisk over the Southern Oregon University. Very good season. Okay, they had this year. He talks about the count system. He does talk about the techniques, and he does talk about the combination techniques in the full-length clinic report, which could be found on www.xandolabs.com by clicking on the Insiders membership. Coaches, we appreciate your attention. Okay, feel free to email us with any research ideas you may have in the future, and thanks for logging on.